Da -da 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 -da. All right, night falls upon us. Sorry, bud, but uh, that trident is mighty. Nope. This trident, dude. I would love to get a trident and put a bunch of attachments on. A bunch of attachments. Come on, game. Come on, game. Now is your time to shine. Give me that sweet, sweet Nautilus shell, baby. Ew. All right, welcome back, guys. Back on the Minecraft server. And yes, we are still trying to get two of every item exploring around the world getting a bunch of crap last episode we got four heart of the seas and uh, i'm not sure if we have any hard things to find in this uh, <laughs> i'm not sure if we have any difficult things that need to be found in this episode we can get rid of some of these items here because some of these items are going to be duplicates let me just do a little bit of inventory sorting real quick all right so the next item we need to get is an ink sack which ooh, that is easy i can do that i actually don't know if we have any uh I think I turned all of our ink sacks into black dye. So I'm actually going to have to go take out so that, you know, that would have been nice to know last episode. Last episode, we were in. Ooh, ooh, dude, if we just died there. Last episode, we were in the water the entire freaking time. I guarantee you we could have super easily taken out. Maybe we'll get lucky and there'll be some squids here. However, I think the glow spin squids are what usually spawns in this area right here oh well that's not gonna help us let's jump rocket all right let's see oh what the heck why can i not rock it no but yeah we're trying to get two of every item and you guys already know it's for a sorting system that we've been working on forever and blah 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 first thing i usually do in minecraft because i hate sorting items but let's find and eliminate a squid oh is that a squid target found target found target found hard to see it's too dark oh there's a seal yeah sorry bud you're the chosen one i need you to drop two ink sacks for me buddy I know, I, I know, I know dolphins. I'm sorry, I know he was your friend. He had to go though. He had to go. He had to go. Thank you for the boost. Thank you for the boost, helping us get back to base super quickly. Woo! And stick the landing, boys. All right, now watch us get back and immediately realize we got to go back out here. Actually, I don't think we do. We might in this episode actually finish getting two of every item in the game which means at some point once we get to the nether star we are going to have to kill two withers and i don't really want to kill two withers in this video but if we have to we'll take down two separate withers uh oh we got to do some netherite farming too i am not excited to farm for the netherite even in the slightest because we need um okay doesn't matter all right so there are the ink sacks and we don't even need to fill up this entire chest we've only got a few more rows and we're completely done then we've got iron ingots and iron nuggets easy stuff easy stuff unfortunately we are gonna have Ooh, hopefully we got some on our base i don't want to have to go to the iron farm we should be good though iron yeah we'll just take this and then boom we'll turn that into that and we'll turn these into ingots and just like that we're done anything else we can grab while we're here next is lapis easy and then after that is leather and then magma cream holy crap dude we're gonna check off so many items and we are down to the wire for items Come on, let this be the episode we finish it. Hopefully we don't get snagged on anything. So in order, after the ink sack, it goes iron, iron ingot, lapis, leather, magma cream. Oh no. And then next, we need the stupid shells. The stupid shells. We need two of the shells. Where are the shells? Where are the shells? The Nautilus shell. And I think these drop when you kill drown. I think that is the only way to get them is from killing drowned. So I might have to go farm a bunch of drowned. I'm actually going to look up exactly how you obtain them. But uh, I have a feeling this is going to be another underwater episode, just like the last one, which thing is could have worked on this at the same time if I was smart and looked ahead. But you guys realize we do very, very, very little planning here. OK, so I have looked it up. There's three ways to obtain it. One, fishing. Uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't plan on fishing. I mean, I, yeah, yeah, no, just, just, just no. And if we did, we'd have to have luck of the sea. Uh, on top of that, you can get it from trading with wandering traders. Unfortunately, if you have seen my base, my base isn't really akin to having wandering traders come by because this is the only upstairs area. And, uh, I don't think, unfortunately, a trader has an elytra. So we're probably not going to meet one. But so the method we're going to have to apply in this video is mob loop. Drowned have a 3% chance. 
A 3% chance to spawn with one. Oh. So out of 100 that spawn in, three will have one. So we are going to go look for the little things. I, I Hopefully we can find one and we're going to look for drowned. And um, yeah, if they have one in their hands, they're always going to drop it on their death. So that is how it is. They got to be naturally spawn drowned. And I thought there was runes nearby somewhere. God dang it. Of course, dude. I, I, we are already running so low on these stupid rockets because our last episode, we spent the entire time flying around. And this episode, we're flying around on top of the water again. Hopefully, this is the last hard thing we need. And this, this shouldn't be hard. All right, drown. Did drown only spawn at night? Because technically, there's light. You know, that makes sense. That'd make a lot of sense unfortunately you can't wait for it to be night so yeah i guess we're just gonna afk up here waiting for the sweet sweet fall of night time to come so i'll be back with you once it dawn turns to dawn da -da 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 -da. all right night falls upon us let's look for these drowned they spawn anywhere underwater you know i don't even know how drowned spawn in this would be something nice to know i know that they spawn in at these ruins right it's nighttime any drown? Any drowned in chat? Any drowned in chat? Mm hmm. Uh huh. You know, honestly, we are my our, our best bet might just be fishing. But I'd have to get luck of the C three, which ah, I don't want to do that. I'd rather just find it and take one out. But I don't see any spawning in. And to be perfectly honest, I don't really want to look up the mechanics of how drowned work right now. I mean, they spawn underwater. It's dark, right? Thus, there should be drowned. Right? Or they only spawn once there and they don't spawn there anymore. No, that would make sense. Because that's the only way to get tridents. The reason I kind of want to find the drowned too is because the drowned have tridents. And uh, I kind of want some tridents. Tridents sound dope. Oh, is that a drowned? Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Uh, I know you won't drop the shell, but do they have to have the trident in their hand to drop a trident? That'd be kind of dope if we got a trident this episode. There's another one. Yo! Drown, what's going on? Where you been? I think they probably, like, I know they have to have the shell in their hand to drop it. Well, uh, there's, ooh, ooh, copper? Copper? I'll take that. Um, so there's two. I don't know. I guess this is the type of biome they spawn in. I thought they also spawn in those underwater areas, but we'll just oh the vision, the vision down here. We need to get a uh, night vision or underwater. What are the? I think it's night vision potions. There's one that allows you see underwater really well. I don't know if it's a specific potion or. Of course, we see like two drowned, and that's all we see. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Interesting. So dark. So dark. Great. Oh, cool. Aha! Uh -huh. oh, oh, for a second I thought the man had a shell. For a second I thought the man had a shell. You know, our fire aspect doesn't do much, and this is the one time I don't like knockback too. I really like being able to knock back the enemies. But uh, not when they're underwater, because it's actually really annoying with underwater enemies. Whereas normally I don't find it too annoying, which I know a lot of people don't like knockback. But I, I enjoy the knockback. We've got more enchantments on the sword since the last time. It's got fire aspect, knockback too. Ah, so this is what I'm going to be doing this episode. A lot of this is going to be cut off camera, because you guys probably don't want to watch me scour underwater looking for... We're going to stop kill... Uh, there's a baby one. I guess we're just going to stay under the sea this entire episode under the sea looking for the drowned to get that pressure shell didn't really rhyme nor stick with the theme but doesn't matter yeah we use rockets a lot more when we're underwater surfing but hey it's got to be done a one in or a, a three percent chance so out of a hundred drown that spawn three of them would have this shell in their hand so our odds are not looking good I mean, they're not bad. It could be way worse. I mean, on average, we just got to find, you know, around 33 of them. 
Are we get really bad luck? I think they only spawn in certain biomes. So if we just run a giant loop. Oh, gotta get air. Hit the air and plunge. No, no, the seaweed. This is gonna be another episode. We're gonna probably have to fly all the way back to spawn because I'm gonna be so lost by the time I get out of this water because we're legitimately just spamming. You know, I really should remember the coordinates for my base. That would help us a t ooh, 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 there's a lot of drowned here. Come on, one of you guys have a shell. One of you guys have a shell. No one here has a shell? No one here has a shell. Come on. Come on. Try harder, boys. Try harder. We'll see if any of you guys will drop us a trident, maybe? No? Come on, maybe? Like I said, I think they probably have to have the trident to drop it. I know to have the shell, they have to drop it. And not a single one of these dudes have that shell. Ah! Oh, that's a fishing rod, not a trident. Come on, dude. Look at all the loot floating to the water top. Oh, is that a shell? No! Bro, their hands look like shells. Their hands look like shells. Well, I mean, you know, we have succeeded at getting a lot of rotten flesh. Like, a lot of rotten flesh. There we go. But that is legitimately it. We have proceeded to acquire a crap ton of rotten flesh. I think whenever we find a new ruin area, a lot of them spawn in for the first time. Yeah, like right here. Come on, come on, please. Do one of you guys got to have a shell? Ooh, man's got a trident. What are the odds? What are the odds? What are the odds, boys? What are the odds we get our first trident? Sorry, bud, but uh, that trident is Maiden. Nope. This trident, dude. I would love to get a trident and put a bunch of attachments on. A bunch of attachments. Oh, boys, we got to stop playing COD. That's it. Officially, we have to. You heard it here first. We got to stop playing COD. Put a bunch of attachments on our freaking trident, bro. What am I? Buried treasure. Unfortunately, that would have been last episode. See, bro, we could have we could have combined two and one. We could have gone to all these places while looking for the buried treasure. We could probably make a farm for this, I guess. Probably wouldn't be easy. The best way would probably honestly to make a wandering trader farm and try to get him from them. No, those guys don't have shells either, bro. Oh, come on. What are the odds it's one of the stock dudes? Huh. Dude, it sucks to be you. You spawned in there. Imagine spawning in in Minecraft as a mob and you're stuck in a little encounter. Can't do anything and that's your entire existence as a mob in Minecraft is stuck. Unable to do anything. I think we already looted that chest. We've already seen this one. All right. Well, unfortunately, this one was also a dot. Ooh, another chest, another chest. Unbreaking three. You know, I'll take it. I'll take it. We're not going to use it, but I will take it just in. Oh, oh, oh. Bro, you picked up. You picked up. <sighs> he picked something up, making me think he had the good stuff. All right, uh, that's what we need to do. We just need to find those underground ruins because those spawn a bunch of zombies, like period. So I'm going to fly. Ooh, 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 ooh. Those are squid. Those are squid. Hopefully this is our last water episode, bro. I am done. After doing all this, I'm not going to lie. I am done trying to get all the stupid water items. I think we've already got everything we needed from a coral reef. Obviously, when we move over to blocks, there's probably something we're going to have to get in to see. But we should have just about it. I mean, we've got all the annoying stuff. We've got sponge already. We've got what's it called? We're just looking for these underground ruins. A new one, a fresh one right there. No, can't tell. Did the seaweed? Oh, 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 what is that? Is that an underground portal? Oh, here we go. Dude, this is the smallest one I've ever seen. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, oh, 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 it's a trident. I would not be mad if we walked away with a trident, though, bro. I'm not going to lie. If we walked away with a trident, that would honestly be pretty much good enough for an episode in and of itself. I don't really care about the shell at that point because I still don't have a trident. Dude, there's a whole family of these suckers. Shell? Come on, bro. One of these guys got to have a shell. Like, I, I don't... 
Come on. No, 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 no. Who knew getting two of each item would be hard when it came to the freaking underwater crap. Open? Open sesame? Nope. I don't think they spawn in the chest. I legitimately think they only spawn on these dudes. So, if it is a 3% chance, we've had really bad odds so far. Really bad odds. Because... Or maybe, maybe it's the... Maybe they only spawn in their hands in a certain version. In this version that no matter what, they just spawn randomly when you kill them. Because I know different versions are different. So, gonna proceed to take them all out just in case. Because it's not like it's very hard to take them all out. But once again, no shells. So I'm gonna do a little bit of farming off recording looking for this. And hopefully we'll be able to acquire this sweet, sweet Nautilus shell. Maybe... Maybe not. I don't even know how we got our first one. Sorry, baby. You 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 don't have any use to me, man. All right, let me go farm. Okay, so it has been a while, and so far, no luck. But you know what I did find? I found a luck of the sea fishing rod, which is what we need to get all of our items. And we've already got a puffer fish, although, you know, it took me a while to get the two puffer fish, and now, of course, we got that. I just want the stupid shell. We got luck of the sea. This is what increases the odds. Give me that sweet, sweet shell, baby. That sweet, sweet shell. Come on. Come on, luck of the sea. Luck of the recording, too. We're recording right now. It's live. You know they'll catch it if we get it right now, game. Come on. Give me that shell. No, not the not the cod. Not not the cod. I'll take the puffer fish, though. Puffer fish are kind of rare. There used to be automatic fish farms. I don't think those work in this version. That would be so nice for this. That'd be so nice. Just to AFK and come back and, you know, have a stack of them. But no, we're going to sit here and uh, I'll try this for like 30 minutes. We'll see if in 30 minutes I can get one of these shells. If not... Then I will go back to swimming the seas. You know, I, I thought getting one of these shells would be easy. And, ooh, a name tag. Too bad we don't need that because we infiltrated. The bad, the worst part is I'm going to have to make a farm for this because conduits. We have got to make two conduits when we get to the items. And bro, I think each conduit takes nine of these. So we have got to figure something out. The items are easy, but bro, once we move on to the blocks... Yeah, dude, trying to get... We'd have to get 18 of these. Eight, I think actually maybe it's eight. We'd have to get like 16 of these. Oh, come on. Yeah, so I... We're going to try one more time. One more on recording, and then we're going to jump cut to 30 minutes of fishing. And we will see if in 30 minutes of fishing, I can get one of these stupid, dumb... Uh, what are they called? Uh, not, not, not to list shells. Come on. Come on. Last one. Last one before we do a 30 minute montage. And by montage, I mean 30 minute jump cut. Come on. Come on, game. Come on, game. Now is your time to shine. Give me that sweet, sweet Nautilus shell, baby. Boys. Boys. Look at it. It's beautiful. Oh, uh, yeah. We fished for a while. Then it turned to height. And boom. Oh, oh, we can't pick it up. We don't got inventory space. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Boom, Nautilus shell. I think this was... Dude, there's another... Oh my... Dude, two and one. Let's go. What are the odds? Yeah, we, we have been... Uh, this was like an hour, two hour endeavor of us looking for the Nautilus shells. Unfortunately, we did not get a trident. But maybe another day. I still definitely want to get that... What does this got on it? Sweet, sweet trident. Uh, we tried fishing for a while. Fishing did not help. Uh, but luckily... We got two of them, and I am not looking forward to coming back out here again when we need to get 16 for the one thing. But there we go. I have no idea where my base is because we have been... Actually, is it over here? No, I... Yeah, okay, never mind. This is a different area completely. Yeah, we, we have just been flying around with reckless abandon for the last two hours. So let's see what our cords are. Oh, we're actually not that far from spawn. Yeah, it, it's going to be a lot quicker to head back to spawn. But yeah, the goal was to get all the items in this video. But we just spent, uh, yeah, a long time gathering stuff. So hopefully, dude, I am hoping. I am tired of these sea exploration videos. Hopefully the next one is nice and simple. We might be killing two withers in the next one because we do have to get two wither stars for the sorting system. So I'm going to fly back home. And while I'm doing that, we can go ahead, wrap up this video. So if you want to see more Minecraft content, make sure to sub to this channel. We got COD Mobile and Minecraft stuff here. On the main channel, we've got main Call of Duty content. Ooh, we got a Mushroom Island. That's actually really close to fun. And then uh, on Facebook, we're uploading exclusive God of War content pretty much daily. A thousand percent recommend you guys check out that series. And I don't know, uh, base should be Iron Farm? Iron Farm? Iron Farm? Maybe? 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 
But there she is. Oh, home sweet home. No more. No more ocean. No more ocean. But with that, we're going to wrap her up, boys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, hey there. Thank you for watching the entire video. I've got to take this last moment here to give a huge thanks to everyone who came to Twitch sub, our YouTube member, and extra special thanks to those who have taken above and beyond and became an Unlock Plus Plus member on YouTube. We've got the 2X Trader Purple. We've got the most OP Gobblegum ever, Round Robin. We have the hero, Arrow Pharaoh. And then we've got the absolute legend, Peyton Perkins. Once again, got to get a huge thanks to all of them for becoming Unlock Plus Plus members here on YouTube.